Hey, this is Alec coming from the walk-in freezer of Chili John's. It's 32 degrees in here, and I'm going to tell you about our frozen chili. Believe it or not, our pounds of chili can last up to two years. And let me teach you the proper ways to warm the stuff up so it tastes just as good as coming from the restaurant fresh. So this is how you properly warm up a pound so it tastes just as good as from the restaurant. All you need is a fork, a pound, and just a tad of water. So what you do is you just plop it in the pan like that. So if you want half of it, just cut it in half. If you want a quarter, just quarter it. But either way, just push with the fork. And cut off what's desired. Okay, if that's what you need. Save that for later. Like so. Break it up into small bits. This is the little bit challenging part, but if you got a good enough fork, you can do it easily. Alright. Yeah. Don't worry about these orange chunks. You want them actually upside down. They'll help uh, melt faster. Alright, so we got that. Just a little bit of water. And let's take it to the oven. You do not want to see these kind of flames. You would actually want to see those kind of little flames. If you have a double boiler, it's even better, but it's slow and slow is the proper way to warm these up because the chili spices are actually very fragile and when they boil, they, they singe and then you lose that flavor in them. So you just want to leave it on like this for, let's say, two minutes, stirring it every uh, 30 seconds or so. So here we go. It's nice and easy, perfect consistency, and that was less than two minutes. So now with that third of the pound of chili that I just uh, cut off, I can make these two amounts of food that you'd normally get at the restaurant. So that's a nice simple way to warm up our pounds and make a delicious meal. So enjoy guys and see you around. Seemingly innocuous cylinder. Why do they use the word innocuous?